Hey everyone, it's Tracy again. Um, about to make a little video today. This one will be a cooking video. Will's not here right now. He's actually at the gym, so hopefully he'll be back shortly. And Spencer's in there watching cartoons. With that being said, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on some stuff here that I'm going to make tonight because we got company coming over. I found this stuff in the store. It's gluten-free pasta. I'm going to make like a lasagna tonight um, made with chicken. I got some ground chicken here and some more organic ingredients and stuff. So I'm going to get started and start prepping this stuff right now. Um, hopefully it comes out well. This is my first time making a lasagna, so I don't know, but we will see. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to start prepping all of my veggies right now. Get my trusty knife and I'm going to start prepping. Like I said, I am making chicken lasagna, gluten free. So it's going to be healthy and hopefully the guests will like it because after all it is healthy and gluten free and not everyone's down with gluten free these days, you know. So we're going to see what we can do and take it from there. I am so sorry if you guys don't get to see me in the full video. I'm trying to squat now, making me get a hump in my back. Um, yeah. But I'm going to start chopping the mushrooms. I'm making them kind of thin because I only have four and I really want to stretch them. Um, in the sauce that I bought because I actually did buy an organic sauce. The sauce has some like mushrooms in it. It's also bordellini. Um, organic tomato and basil sauce as well. So that's going to be incorporated into this dish. But for now, it's going to be thin. Chop, chop, chop. Two more to go. one more to go so that was a total of four bellas I'm chopping right now um, like I said this is like very healthy lasagna that I'm making um, that is on that I was thinking about putting peppers in it but with that being said I don't think I'm going to incorporate this in that dish because I'm already going to have green I wanted some form of a color, but I guess I won't do that or the red peppers as well. I'm now going to crush up some garlic because I like garlic. Um, garlic is usually used in most Italian dishes. So I am going to chop up some garlic as well so we can have that. Plus I love the smell of garlic. I love the way it smells when you fry it up in a pan with some olive oil. It's phenomenal. So, times like this, I wish I could time lapse this really fast so that this video can go by really well. Where's Sheena when I need her? <laughs> She's the queen of time lapse video. Okay going to first rough chop this garlic. I want to cut it up fine but not too fine because I'm the kind of person that I love to taste bits of garlic in my food. That's just me. So I'm going to chop up here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I see my neighbor. My neighbor is Cuban, and the other day she made this soup 
I forgot the name what she told me it was called but the soup pretty much had um, yuca and white potatoes and um, I think she said sweet potatoes and some more stuff she made it on a big pot in the backyard here yesterday and she offered me some but unfortunately we went out so I wasn't able to get it but I got the strangest feeling she's gonna hunt me down tonight and try to give me some of that I don't want it now no offense to anyone but I'm the kind of person if I don't see it come out the pot it's not gonna come into these lips because I don't know what you guys do with your stuff so no offense I guess I'm a food snob maybe I'm bad and bougie I don't know anyways um let me go get my oils that I'm going to use detaching going into the pantry guys I hear Spencer um I've been using this now I used it a while ago so I'm starting to use it all over again um, this was one of my favorite things that I love to cook with it's clarified butter which of course if you're a chef you know about clarified butter because we do use it in the industry um, it's also called ghee it's also a good healthy oil or fat as you will to use um, yeah, especially if you're on the paleo diet. This is highly recommended on the paleo diet. I got this one from Trader Joe's for like $6.99. So, guys, go on and get it. Okay, so, now, like I said, I've never made lasagna before. I know, being a chef, you can't know how to make everything. But, you know, I try and do what I can. So, with that being said, I got to read the ingredients. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, so anyways, apparently this is going to take approximately 60 minutes. Our guest should be here at 7 and it's 5.37. It's basically my neighbors. They live right there. I can literally see them at the window. So, hmm. I'm just going to start prepping my stuff right now. I think I'm going to start cooking at 6. I'm a pretty good cook, like, fast, so... I think I'm probably going to start cooking at 6, but in the meanwhile, I may just go and sit down and everything. Um, with this meal tonight, I do have special or assortment of wines that I'm going to use with this. I know that we have chicken. So, with that being said, I did buy a Pina Grigio wine. It's by Yellowtail. It's just something quick and cheap. It was on sale at Publix. So, I bought this one because we are having chicken, but... Our guests, which we have been out with them before in the past, I know they like a lot of red wines. So I also have a, and excuse me if I am pronouncing these wrong because I am not a sommelier or sommelier or whatever they're called. The people that make all the money that know about wines and pairing, blah, blah, blah. Anywho, I got a Shiraz wine. This is a little cheapy one again, like I said. So just picked it up real quick. And then also I got a... Cabernet Servan or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really a red wine fan, so I don't know, but this is also a red wine as well. I'm the kind of person, unfortunately, and I know this is sad to say, but hey, I'm not afraid to admit my shortcomings. I don't even know and learn about what I like. I don't really care about other stuff <laughs> It don't pertain to me. Maybe it's the Aries in me. I do not know. But, that's just me. Okay, so, for dinner tonight, Spencer, since she is kind of a food snob as well, I bought along some broccoli, i.e. little trees, what she called them. So we're going to give her a few little trees. I am not going to make this whole stock for her, because believe it or not, this whole stock can last a whole week for her. Um, nowadays, since she's in daycare, she's eating like a bird. I don't know what her problem is. It's kind of annoying. Um, I miss my little girl that used to eat all those elaborate meals I used to make. You guys remember on Facebook um, and Instagram, all the things I used to post. That's behind us now. She is like not even interested. I guess because she's like a woman child now. She have different needs, different wants. I don't know. But anyways, I know for a fact that she definitely will eat. Her trees so I'm gonna give her four 
Just cut them off the stock. And I'm basically going to cut them a little bit more. About that much. And I'm going to take these little trees, as I said, and cut them in half. Like so. So it can look like more, but it's not really more, but I don't know. I guess I'm tricking her too. So these are her trees, already cut in half, like so. I'm going to put these in my little prep area because when I prep my stuff, I'm so used to prepping the way we did it at work and putting stuff in half pans. I put them in my half pans that I have here at home. So that's how I do it. Oh my, okay, so I guess Will just came back in. With that being said, um, I'm sure he'd probably may come over here and do a cameo because he just came from the gym, or he may not because he's afraid of his appearance. I'm just doing a quick cooking video. You wanna come say hi? Oh. <laughs> Here's my Will. Hey y'all. Yeah, he just came back from the gym, so I'm doing a quick tutorial telling the people what I'm cooking tonight for dinner, telling them how I'm doing it, blah, 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 and that's about it. Sounds good. I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Okay. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh God, so cute. Anywho, um, well, see what I deal with on a daily basis, people. Yeah, this is my life daily. And they're off to the races. Anyways, back to me. Um. Okay. So. I'm going to start, like I said, cooking around 6 o'clock. It is 541 now. You've seen everything I've did. I've showed you guys my prep. This is everything that I've chopped up. As you can see, I have my Hunt's basil and oregano diced tomatoes because you can never have enough tomatoes. I also got some basil, garlic, and oregano tomato paste as well as Hunt's sauce, basil, garlic, oregano sauce. Now, I know you're probably saying, dang, this girl got a lot of tomato sauces. Here's what I do, and I'm just weird. I get these things, and I don't technically use them. I just depend on how everything goes. Because remember, in culinary, as you know, um, they say when you're cooking, it's considered an art form, as opposed to baking is more like a science, not a scientist more of a baker. Oh, wait, sorry, the didn't mean baker. Not a scientist, more of an artiste. So I like to pretty much just try to test things out and see how it comes. If my sauce looks like it's getting soupy, then I will add the tomato paste to thicken it up. That's normally what I would do. So that's why I have this. The chunky diced tomatoes, I use these because for texture and thickness and fullness and stuff. And plus also this will complement the mushrooms that I have in here as well. So that's why I have that. Oh, I almost forgot. One second. For this lasagna as well, I'm probably going to throw in some baby spinach. Um, I found the spinach today. It was really nice. Found a very cool Aldi's near me that looks like Trader Joe's, but then again, you guys know Trader Joe's Aldi's are the same thing. Um, it's just that Aldi's is like the baby sister of Trader Joe's or something like that. I forgot. Look it up, but they're the same. You'll be surprised. If you go to Aldi's, everything that you pretty much see in Aldi's is at Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's have it on a different day, and they charge a lot more money. I'm going to give you a prime example. There's a juice that Will buys specifically from Trader Joe's. This juice right here is called Power of Seven Trader Joe's. At Trader Joe's, this juice costs, here, let me see the label. You guys can read that. At Trader Joe's, this juice is $6.99. Why did we just see this the other day at Aldi's for $3.99? It didn't say to the Power of Seven, but it says Seven Power or something. Exact same juice, we will be going there. Sorry, TJ. So that's that. So, okay. And yeah, I got all my other stuff from Aldi's as well today. My ricotta cheese, my parmesan because I don't really necessarily like parmesan that's already shredded. I like to shred it myself. That's why I have a grater. I grate it myself. 
I'm just weird like that because I like the way the texture and the form comes out. So that's just me. Um, with this dish also, I'm going to incorporate my rolls that I made the other night. They're still fresh and they're great. So I'm going to nuke them and, you know, whatever. My rosemary parmesan rolls that I make. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on one of those one day too and show you those. Because I found that recipe, like I said, off Pinterest. And Pinterest have been my friend lately. So they've been having some very good, easy, quick, simple recipes that I'm pretty excited about trying. So... Stay tuned for that video next. Um, right about now, it's 5.45, so I'm pretty much going to cut this video short. Resume it again so you all can see me in the process of actually cooking this, and we'll take it from there. Okay? So, stay tuned. Bye, guys. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so, um, before I start this video, I got a retraction. Mr. Will had to correct me because he actually... Um, goes over these videos with me to make sure everything is okay. Um, Trader Joe's actually had that juice, Power of 7, for $3.99. It was at Aldi's for $2.89. So just to give you a retraction, and we don't want no problems with Trader Joe's. Don't want them to come after me, and I don't want to get gad or sued or blah, blah. Trader Joe's, $3.99. Aldi's, $2.89. Go figure. Anyways, um... I got some regatta cheese. I'm going to put that in the bowl per the instructions. And I'm going to mix it. If I can get this wrapper off, it's like a dope proof. Um, hmm. I'm not really a cheese fan. Just to let you guys know, I don't like cheese. Cheese is disgusting to me. I mean, I eat it. I don't want to sound like a cheese snob. I do eat it. But, like for instance, if I get a pizza, I can eat it with the pizza. The pizza has to be hot, not old and cold. That don't work for me. It has to be hot pizza. It's the only way I'd be able to enjoy that. And then I can only eat like probably one or two slices because it starts getting nasty to me and I don't want it anymore. So um, that's just me with cheese. So since we have guests tonight, it's not about me. So <laughs> cheese it up, baby. Oops. Spencer, are you okay? Yeah, What happened? You got a boo boo. She has so many boo boos. Right here. Right where? Right here. Let me show you that's the drama queen. Come here. Come here. She's off to the races. I don't know. I just look here. Um, with this ricotta cheese, because it does state that I need to season with salt and pepper, I'm going to season with, I got kosher sea salt here. Give a few sprinkle tinkles of that. And then I have my favorite McCormick organic white pepper. See the label? White pepper. I'm going to go ahead and use that because what I learned in culinary is when you're making certain dishes, it's not really necessarily good to put the black palm pepper because it shows up or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Hence why I'm not in culinary anymore. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to mix this up. Like so. That's what I'm doing right now. Spencer, what are you doing, honey bunny? Oh, God. It is so tough being the mom. Huh? Gotta watch her. Be a referee, etc., etc. Anyways. I'm going to try to find a place to mount my camera. Struggle's real. But meanwhile, while I'm trying to search for that spot, I'm going to heat up my stove. It's electric, it's not gas, I wish. Anyways, I'm gonna heat up my stove here and get started with the cooking over here because I have to cook the chicken. I got ground chicken. 
So I have to do the ground chicken and cook that up in a pan, in some pan, <laughs> so we can incorporate this into the meal. Oh, what do you know? The box did say black pepper. I don't use black pepper, so forget that. It's whatever. Um, uh, cool. Wait a second. It doesn't even look like they have meat in this thing. Anyways, I'm going to make my meat because I ain't down with no vegetarian lasagna today. So, oops. All right, I got my pan here. I'm going to use a little bit of the ghee in the pan to cook with. So here's the label again if you all need to see. Square by butter. It's good. Put a little bit in the pan here to get my motor running. <laughs> Spencer, what are you doing? What happened? I heard. Why are you hot? I like it. You running? I She's running. I don't know. I wish I was running right now. Away from the situation. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> just kidding. I like to cook, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm always cooking. I love doing it. Um, something I'm very passionate about. It's not really passionate in regards to working. For someone doing it, that's not nice. So, yeah. I'm going to probably put a little bit more butter in the pan. Oh, sorry. Clarify butter. Because I want this pan coated. And I think I've only put in like about two teaspoons in the beginning. Now I put a total of four. So with that being said, and it's coated now, we're going to get it started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking this stuff up, um, get that started, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Stay tuned. 